Can you just recap your uh, Cyberpunk 2077 review first for me? <laughs> Dude, I told you. I, I okay, So I played for like two hours and yeah. it was just, it was just horrible. I don't remember the exact amount of time I played for, but it wasn't very long. And, and honestly, probably about half an hour in, it was just like morbid curiosity of like, is this really this bad? Um, they, they, I, I don't know. My, my, the, the thing that I went over was they took this incredibly, uh, li sorry, I just keep getting absolutely spammed. One second. Okay, I'm back. Um, it, it's it. There's there's so much life in it in terms of what it looks like. Yeah, uh, the city is beautiful, uh, but it is completely, completely lifeless. There's there's nothing to it. The AI all see, feels fake. The conversations feel bad. The story is not very engaging. There's like it's just, <sighs> it and it feels it feels quite a bit when something is this hyped up even if it was entirely hyped up by the community and not the company, which is not the case, but even, even if that was it, you feel kind of lied to in these scenarios. Um, so, so the, the which, biggest, the biggest own was probably cyberpunk 2077 being removed from the PlayStation store this week. Uh, do you want to run through yeah. this or? Yeah. So Sony announced late Thursday that it would offer full refunds to people who purchased cyberpunk 2077. And that is, uh, kind of sort of what I was alluding to previously, the feels like you were lied to thing. Yeah. Uh, because you see all this footage from the game and then the footage from the, uh, the like original PS4 and original Xbox versions is, if you haven't seen it, it's like actually hilarious. <laughs> it doesn't even remotely look like the same game. I don't know if you can find any of it, Linus, um, but it, it, it looks like a literally completely different game. Like it's... Uh, the fact that they were okay with selling that to anyone at any level is hilarious. Um, one really, really funny thing that I saw was people pointed out that there's a like collector's edition of the console and it barely runs on the like Cyberpunk 2077 collector's edition version of the console and it barely runs on it. <laughs> so that was pretty great. Um, but yeah, at Cyberpunk went for CD Projekt Red went from like the absolute darling of the industry. Like uh, yeah. something that I found interesting for a long time was they would do these posts, um, which is it was something along the lines of like, buy, buy The Witcher or buy Cyberpunk on GOG and CD Projekt Red gets 100% of the proceeds. Like, cause you're, you're like funding this tiny indie company is what it feels like. But yeah, it's not but they're actually, actually uh, a Goliath. Um, yeah, they're massive, and and there's all this stuff coming out about like these these like insane crunch times, um, but then the game looks horrible on old hardware, yeah, and it's just not really winning in the reviews department. I haven't even looked this up since last show, but I'm gonna look it up right now. It okay, is a so the user score has increased a little bit. The Metacritic score or the the reviewer meta score has gone down. To 87 um, out of 100 the user score has gone up to 7.1 out of 10. sony um, making the move to allow to to basically pull it from the store though I, I i don't think that has this been done before just based on people feeling so baited by a game because it's not like it's not like mm -hmm. sony has pulled a game for being bad and that's not oh, really yeah, what they're there's, doing there's here yeah, like yeah. it's not, it's not that bad. It's just not yeah, what people expected. But especially visually and and like actual gameplay style. Like there's there's examples of assets not loading in, so you can just like walk through them, right? Because the asset hasn't actually loaded yet, and then you're like glitched in a wall, and like or something else is going on. Like it's just it's. It's basically broken on the old consoles. Um, <sighs> so yeah, I don't know. Microsoft is also offering refunds to the game, but has not taken it off the store yet. Um, CD Projekt Red has posted a few updates apologizing for their situation. Um, yeah. The refund from the PlayStation Store is not automatic. You do need to request it. And I've heard there are 
some issues with that process. Although I think that happens almost any time a massive, massive amount of people request refunds is the the process of getting that refund comes a little bit clogged. Um, yeah. I haven't heard anyone crying actual foul play there yet, just that it gets a little clogged. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting. The game won't be removed from your library if you choose to keep it, which is interesting as well. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's a ton else to say there. It was it was ripped. Apparently, Digital Foundry, I haven't seen this actually, but it's probably fantastic. Digital Foundry has a video um, talking about all of its issues on last gen and like, yeah, it looks so rough. Even just like having skimmed through the, yeah, 810p, 1440 by 810 dynamic resolution. Like, ugh. Yeah, and it's not running rough. at great frame rates. Like there's... Oh. There's some parts of the game that they said were basically unplayable on last gen consoles just because they were so um they were there was so much motion and the animations were so stuttery that you, you just kind of couldn't complete the objective which is pretty which is pretty tough and sort of raises the question like a you know did CD Project Red ever like try to play through this <laughs> game and b if they didn't then why did they seem like they went out of their way to not show the community any footage of the game running on those consoles like yeah it's one of those things where i kind of look at it and i go you know yeah i understand you want to sell as many copies of the game as possible and you also want to be inclusive to as many people as possible who want to play it not everybody can afford a playstation 5 or an xbox series and even if they could not everybody can even get their hands on it right now so yeah you want when you launch your game you want to you want people to be able to to play it but maybe this is one of those situations where it should have just been a next gen exclusive slash pc title that simple you know <sighs> i think even and like maybe i'm wrong here but i think even releasing a thing and like putting a warning on the store when you buy it um, like if you try to buy it and you're on one of those old consoles, having a yeah. warning that you have to say yes to saying like, this is going to run poorly. When you buy this, you're getting it on both consoles. You should really play it on the new console, but you do have access to it on this one. I think that would have alleviated some frustrations. 